Keeley. I'm the urban forestry and landscape planner for the city of Somerville. Today I'm here to talk to you a little bit about pruning around utility lines. Falling limbs and trees are the major source of down lines. Utility companies need to prune around their power lines to make sure that the power stays on and that people stay safe. So every year the electric companies prune trees around the power lines. In Somerville, they divide up the city into four different circuits and they prune one circuit every year. This year they're pruning trees around West Somerville. So residents that are within the pruning circuit received a letter explaining that the pruning was going to happen and we've worked directly with, with Eversource to make sure that their pruning plan matches the city's goals. The goal of the pruning is to keep the trees healthy and strong while maintaining reliable power um, and protecting people's safety. So there are certain standards and regulations that the companies use when they're pruning around trees. They use best management practices for utility pruning which is a, an established practice by the American National Standard Institute as well as the International Society of Arboriculture ISA so they follow these certain specifications to make sure that the trees are growing in the right directions around the power lines keeping it safe for the power source and people around it the companies prune around the primary power lines which are the topmost lines on the power poles. They can cut the tree within eight feet to the sides of those primary lines, eight feet below and up to 12 feet above. And this is to keep limbs from falling on the power lines and breaking the power connections. Sometimes that this creates a deep V shape in the tree, but really it's the best thing for, for keeping our power on. So they make as few cuts as possible and as small of branches, generally three inch diameter or less limbs, generally a lot smaller and only rarely larger branches than that. So in our boar culture, we like to practice what's called right tree, right place. So we try to think forward into the tree's future and plant a tree that's going to do well in that area. Right here we have an example of a wrong tree in the in a, the wrong place where a very large tree, a tree that gets very tall when it's mature, was planted under the power lines. We can see what's happened to the tree. It's, it's not now having its normal general structure that it would have in, the, in a natural setting. Um, so looking at right tree, right place characteristics, I make sure that going forward we plant only trees that are going to be smaller at mature height under power lines. So I only plant trees that will be up to 30 feet tall, generally cherry trees, some small maples, trees that, that aren't going to have to have these deep cuts like this tree here. You can contact me at vbukili at somervillema.gov. That's v-b-o-u-k-i-l-i at somervillema.gov, all one word. Or you can give me a call, just call 617-625-6600 and ask for me.